Welcome to another captivating journey with We Are Saintly Saint of the Day series. In this enlightening video, we invite you to discover the heartfelt prayer dedicated to Saint Rose of Lima, the patroness of Peru and indigenous people. Immerse yourself in the profound devotion and blessings that this prayer can bring to your life. Whether you're a devout follower of Saint Rose of Lima, someone seeking spiritual guidance, or simply intrigued by her remarkable life and virtues, this video offers a sanctuary for your soul. Let's get started. The power and beauty of the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima has inspired Catholics for centuries. This special prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks Saint Rose to present our petitions to God and obtain for us the grace to follow her virtuous example. Born in Lima, Peru in 1586, Rose of Lima lived a life devoted to prayer, penance, and care for the sick. By the time she passed away at just 31 years old, she had become known throughout South America for her incredible faith, dedication to Christ, and loving service to others. The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima recognizes that we can ask this holy virgin and blessed servant of God to pray for us from her place in heaven. Through her intercession, we open our hearts more fully to God's grace and the possibilities of sainthood. In this blog, I'd like to explore the meaning behind the prayer to Saint Rose of Lima and how it can help deepen our relationship with God. The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima provides a powerful way to connect with this beloved saint and follow her example of holiness. Let's take a look at the history of this prayer and how it can transform our spiritual lives when prayed from the heart. Prayer of Saint Rose of Lima What is the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima? One of the most beloved prayers to Saint Rose of Lima is simply called the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima. This beautiful prayer recognizes Rose's sacrificial life and asks for her powerful intercession from heaven. The words of the prayer remind us that Saint Rose of Lima gave up earthly pleasures and comforts to serve God in poverty and penance. Even as a youth, Rose committed to a life of prayer, charity, and mortification. The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks Saint Rose of Lima to present our petitions to God and obtain for us the grace to follow her holy example. By praying the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima, we are connected to the virtue and miracles of Saint Rose of Lima. The words of the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima are, Saint Rose of Lima, patroness of South America and the Philippines, you were the first canonized saint of the New World. Inspired by the spirituality of Saint Catherine of Siena, you joined the Third Order of Saint Dominic as a teenager. Though you lived in the world, you were never worldly. When your beauty attracted suitors, you disfigured yourself in order to live for Jesus alone. Help us by your prayers to have a pure and ardent love for the Lord. Present our petitions to God and obtain for us the grace of following your holy example. Amen. This lovely prayer of Saint Rose of Lima recognizes Rose's beauty, sacrifice, and intercessory power. By praying it often, we too can grow closer to our Lord. What are the most popular prayer of Saint Rose of Lima? Saint Rose of Lima is associated with a number of beautiful and time-honored Catholic prayers. Here are some of the most popular prayer of Saint Rose of Lima. The Novena to Saint Rose of Lima. This nine-day prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks for Rose's intercession and protection with themes like chastity, charity, and family. It concludes on her feast day, August 30th. The Chaplet of Saint Rose of Lima. This chaplet prayer of Saint Rose of Lima repeats her name as a litany while meditating on mysteries and virtues of her life. It can be said on a rosary. Prayer for the intercession of Saint Rose of Lima. The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks Rose to present petitions to Christ to obtain his grace and mercy. Prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for purity, calling on Rose's commitment to chastity. This prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks for help in remaining pure in mind, heart, and body. Novena to Saint Rose of Lima for children. Mothers often pray this for their kids' well being and future. The Rosary of Saint Rose of Lima. This prayer of Saint Rose of Lima invites us to contemplate the gospel mysteries while asking her intercession. The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for healing, this calls upon her miracles and asks her to pray for healing graces. These most popular prayer of Saint Rose of Lima highlight her pure life, charitable virtues and loving care for all who seek her heavenly aid through devoted prayer. What is the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima? The prayer of Saint Rose of Lima is a longer prayer meant to be recited while praying the complete rosary, ideally on her feast day of August 30th. This prayer invokes Saint Rose of Lima's powerful intercession for the petitioner's needs between each decade of the Rosary. As the prayer honors Saint Rose of Lima, it also guides the believer to contemplate the saving mysteries of Christ's life as found in the Rosary. Here are the words to the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima. Heavenly Father, with joy and gladness we pray this Rosary to honor the life of Saint Rose of Lima.
Lima. Through her prayers, may we follow her example in becoming more faithful and fervent in our love of you. We pray in between these decades, Saint Rose of Lima, glorious virgin and servant of God, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us follow your example of purity, obedience, charity, patience, and union with God in prayer. Present our petitions to the sacred heart of Jesus, that we may one day enjoy the beatific vision along with you in heaven. Amen. O God, you were pleased to choose blessed Rose to be a garden enclosed, an unsullied virgin, a pillar of penance, and a mirror of virtue. Grant us the grace to imitate her true Christian prudence gained through mortification and shunning the empty pleasures of the world. Through the glorious intercession and merits of Saint Rose of Lima, hear and answer our requests presented in this holy rosary. You who live and reign, world without end. Amen. This longer prayer of Saint Rose of Lima complements the rosary while seeking Rose's heavenly aid. What is the Novna Prayer of St. Rose of Lima? The Novna Prayer to St. Rose of Lima is a nine-day Catholic devotion that asks for the saint's intercessory prayers. Novnas are often prayed in preparation for the feast day of a saint, so this Novna Prayer would traditionally be prayed for nine consecutive days leading up to the feast of St. Rose of Lima on August 30th. Here is the popular prayer of St. Rose of Lima. Most gracious Virgin, St. Rose of Lima, through your love of chastity and charity, you renounced all earthly things to follow Christ. Like any flower that turns toward the Son, you turn toward the Son of God. From your youth you gave yourself completely to prayer and penance. You had a tender love for the Christ child and his suffering mother. Obtain for me the grace to love God above all things. Help me by your prayers to imitate your radiant virtue so that I may one day join you in seeing the glory of God. Amen. Recited daily for nine days, this Novna prayer of Saint Rose of Lima asks Saint Rose of Lima to present our petitions to Christ. We call on her example of virtue and love of God to inspire our own spiritual growth. This Novna concludes on August 30th, the feast of Saint Rose of Lima, when she is closest and ready to intercede. What prayers did Saint Rose of Lima herself pray? During her holy life of devotion to God, Saint Rose of Lima embraced many beautiful Catholic prayers and devotions. She sought to always cultivate an attitude of prayer and drew closer to Christ through traditional prayers and those from her heart. Here are some of the specific prayers that were dear to Saint Rose of Lima. The Holy Rosary, Saint Rose had a deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and prayed the Rosary daily. The Rosary remained one of her most beloved habits. The Liturgy of the hours, Rose prayed the Divine Office daily as part of her Third Order Dominican spirituality. This prayer sanctified her whole day. Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Rose had a strong devotion to the Sacred Heart. She is said to have prayed this daily, O Sacred Heart of Jesus, grant me the grace of loving you in every way. Act of Contrition, she often prayed this prayer expressing sorrow for sin and pleading for God's mercy. Magnificat, she prayed Mary's prayer of praise from the Gospel of Luke in union with the Blessed Mother. Prayer before a crucifix, standing before before a crucifix, Rose would pray, Lord Jesus Christ, help me endure all my sufferings with patience and submission to your holy will. Prayers, Rose prayed these short, fervent prayers constantly, such as, Grant me, O Jesus, fervor and recollection in prayer. The life of Saint Rose of Lima was infused with heartfelt prayer of Saint Rose of Lima's like these which kept her close to God. What is the prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for intercession and miracles? Saint Rose of Lima is a powerful intercessor miracle worker in heaven, ready to pray for our needs. Here are some popular Catholic prayers asking for her heavenly intercession. Prayer for healing. O Saint Rose, patroness of the sick, pray for me to be healed in body and spirit from all that afflicts me. By the power of your intercession, obtain for me health and wholeness so that I may better serve the Lord with full strength. Amen. Prayer for family. Glorious Saint Rose of Lima, you are devoted to your family. The Guard and protect my family. Pray for peace and unity in our home. Obtain from God any special grace my family needs, especially. Make our home a little sanctuary where we love as you loved. Amen. Prayer for safe travel. Saint Rose, protector of travels, be my guide on this journey. Shelter me from all harm and bring me safely to my destination. In your travels on earth, you walked with God. Walk now with me and protect me. Amen. Prayer for finances. Saint Rose, you knew poverty on earth. Pray for me that I may have the necessary means to live with dignity while not becoming attached to earthly riches. Pray that I may always place God first in my life, trusting he will provide for my needs. Amen. These intercessory prayers invoke Saint Rose of Lima as heavenly assistance in miracles and special causes close to her holy example. Prayer of Saint Rose of Lima What are prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for purity and chastity? Saint Rose of Lima is a powerful patron for those seeking to live and pray in purity and chastity. As a third order Dominican, she took a vow of chastity and has inspired many to follow her example. Here are some prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for purity. Prayer for chastity Dearest Saint Rose, you rejected earthly love and marriage so that you could belong entirely to Jesus, your heavenly spouse. Pray for 
for me that I may have the strength and courage to live in chastity all the days of my life. Intercede for me so that I may serve the Lord in purity of heart and mind. Lead me on the path of virtue that I may completely dedicate myself to Christ. Amen. Prayer against temptation. Saint Rose, you endured temptations and triumphed over them. Pray for me to also triumph over temptations of the flesh and worldly allurements. Make my heart like yours, detached from the pleasures of this life, and attached only to the Lord. Amen. Prayer for inner purity. Lovely Rose, so pure and fair, inspire me to keep my conscience clear. You sought always to please God alone. Help me turn from sin and through me God's love be shown. Amen. Prayer for true happiness. Saint Rose, you found joy in keeping pure for God. Guide me to turn from fleeting impure pleasures and fill my heart with grace. Let me discover true happiness comes not from the world but God's embrace. Amen. Saint Rose of Lima's intercession helps us on the journey toward inner and outer purity. These powerful prayer of Saint Rose of Lima's open our hearts to God's mercy and strength. What are prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for healing? Saint Rose of Lima is the patron saint for healing, especially healing from physical suffering, chronic illness and family troubles. Here are some of the most popular Catholic prayers to Saint Rose of Lima for healing. Prayer for healing of body and soul. Bless Saint Rose, in your earthly life you patiently endured great sufferings and maintained faith, hope and charity. Pray for me in my present need, and intercede with God that I may be healed in body and spirit. Make me an instrument to inspire the sick and suffering, that by my patience and union with Christ, his healing grace may work through me. Amen. Prayer for inner healing. Compassionate Saint Rose, who bore many sufferings with patience, help me to heal from sorrow. Mend the wounds of my past that cause me hurt today. Restore childlike trust to my soul. Let me give my heart heartache over to God each day. Amen. Prayer for physical healing. Good Saint Rose, I implore you, by the suffering you endured so patiently, please intercede for me before the throne of God. Obtain for me the health I need to continue my service to the Lord with full strength. In you I place my pain and trials, trusting God will heal me. Amen. Prayer for strength. Saint Rose, pray for me, give me strength throughout each day. Though my burdens feel too heavy to bear, your hand upholds me along the way. Amen. Saint Rose understands human pain and lovingly prays for us. Through heartfelt prayer of Saint Rose of Lima's for healing we find hope. What are prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for children and family? Saint Rose of Lima, who cared for her family while living a blessed life devoted to God, is the patroness of family. Many prayers ask Saint Rose of Lima to intercede and protect children and families. Here are some favorite prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for healthy pregnancy and childbirth. Holy Saint Rose, you were born into this world saved from harm. Protect my unborn child as you were protected. Pray for them to be born healthy through my peaceful pregnancy and delivery. Guide me as I prepare in joyful hope. Amen. For children's well-being. Loving Saint Rose, watch over my children and guard them each day. Keep their bodies safe and their souls unstained as they journey along life's way. Guide them to be loving Christians, like you, sweet Rose. Bless them, I pray. Amen. For a happy, holy family. Gentle Saint Rose, bless our home with your presence. Inspire forgiveness, joy and sacrifice so our family family reflects God's love. Shelter us under your mantle, that we remain united as one family in Christ. Amen. In times of family difficulty, dearest Saint Rose, pray for us in our difficult hour. Stay beside us, hold our hands, renew our trust and faith in God's plan. Though we cannot see the reason, we believe he leads us through this season. Help us surrender all to Christ, follow him come what may. Amen. These prayer of Saint Rose of Lima for family are powerful appeals to her kind, motherly spirit and patent protection. How did Saint Rose of Lima exemplify a life of prayer and devotion? Saint Rose of Lima lived an exemplary life of deep Catholic prayer and devotion. She spent hours in solitude with God daily through prayer and mortification. Here is how Saint Rose of Lima modeled ideal prayer and devotion. She cultivated an interior life. Saint Rose sought a heart-to-heart -heart relationship with Christ through constant silent meditation. She prayed with sacrifice. She offered up corporal penance and suffering with her prayers to grow closer to Christ. She led an active prayer life. Saint Rose prayed the rosary, divine office, and other vocal prayers daily. She fasted and lived simply, she ate little, fasted frequently, and lived humbly to devote more time to prayer. She sought spiritual direction, she received guidance from clergy like her friend, Saint Martin de Porres. She modeled charity, she spent hours serving the poor and sick as part of her prayerful devotion. She lived in chastity, her vow of virginity allowed an undivided heart given completely to God in prayer. She practiced mortification, she was disciplined in redemptively offering up suffering through prayer. She cultivated holy friendships. Saint Rose drew closer to God through Christian community and friendships. She witnessed joyfully. Her devotion prayer radiated peace and helped convert souls. 
Following St. Rose of Lima's holy example, we can grow deeper in prayerful devotion to Christ through our Catholic faith. She remains one of the most beautiful models of a prayerful saint. Learning about our Catholic saints and church history will deepen your faith so much. Prayer is also such an important aspect of growing in your faith. Meditating on the gospel for at least a few minutes a day can dramatically deepen your faith. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3 to 6, God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17 11, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9.22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the Ten Commandments, to redeem those who were under the law. Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything? Even if it was small, have you ever lied? Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, it says in 1 St. John 1 to 8 and 9, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a merciful and loving God we serve. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your We Are Saintly Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I give you free saint printables each month, a free We Are Saintly shirt each year, shoutouts, and more in Patreon as a special thank you for being a part of this amazing Catholic community. Are you considering taking a Catholic pill pilgrimage to honor St. Rose of Lima after learning about her today. I've traveled to lots of places, and I'm well versed in the things you may need along the way, so I've compiled a list of links in the description below where you can find cheap flights, car rentals, destination packages, and more. Save this video so you have those links handy and visit our blog to learn about more holy saints that will ignite your faith. I sincerely hope that learning about the prayer of St. Rose of Lima has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, keep going to church, reading your Bible, praying your rosary, and sharing the gospel. I'm praying for you in all of this.